Jordan of all, it's open to you all if you wish. Let me ask, when you say, I'm just curious because again, I, I know nothing of your type of traditions when it comes to religion. Where do you do these services? I do not see a shrine or anything of the like around. <laughs> yeah. Well, again, you have yet to see the full majesty of Gaudenaval, but perhaps next time we can show you a little bit more. Well, if you have the time, I'd love to take a tour of the place. Yes, because quite, and not to be <laughs> rude, but I've not seen yet the majesty of Claire de Naval. Mm. Well, Sorry, right. I just very confused. <laughs> <laughs> are we leaving? or are we, I thought we were leaving. Tour, perhaps? A we tour. see these dungeons Claire de Naval is so known for. <laughs> known for dungeons? <laughs> How'd that look too? Oh, <laughs> yes. A tour would be excellent. However, I have much more paperwork to do, so I will allow Thub, Meek, if you wouldn't mind, showing them around, showing them the majesty of Canada. Okay, right, right, right. <laughs> and <laughs> unscoots the chair and stands up. It was a lovely, lovely lunch. Let's do it again sometime. Dude pushes past him and is like, all right, let's, uh, let's show you that majesty. <laughs> of care, Danival, right. <laughs> Thank you for finishing my sentence. You're welcome. All right, let's show you. Follow me. Just kind of walks, hips jutting a little bit forward. He's like a, he, he leads with his hips. All right. As you can see here, there's a fish on a flag with a tower. That's pretty neat. Um, I think it's a, well, it's a big flag. It's pretty cool stuff. It's the crest of the city that you uh, govern. <laughs> exactly, exactly. See, already appreciating the majesty. One. There seems to be a pathway that's like made in the ash that basically goes from the door, kind of curves and over to your left, and you see a door over there. Okay. It seems like that is a regular path to another room. It's really just a bathroom. You're just walking in <laughs> on somebody. <laughs> oh no. In here. <laughs> it's just There's like someone a... here. And I guess the goal is to try and knock them out or over. I don't even know if I need to claim that or not. Uh, that's going to be nine plus, whoops, nine plus seven. So that's a 16 damage. Okay. Wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> Lands into the ash face first. Meek is like, Ugh. oh, well, he'll enjoy that when he wakes up. Nice. And then Renu's going to start pulling him into an ash area, like sweeping the ashes with his body and like, prop him up against the wall. You're like, oh, behold the majesty of Ked <laughs> What did you do that for? Look, he was yeah. getting on my nerves, as are, and he was going to probably- He alert. could have just left. I thought we were just having lunch and leaving. <laughs> as are, oh, I'm so you weren't here. They're keeping the speaker captive. All the servants are captive in the dungeon. They worship devils. We're trying to get to the bottom of it before we go. Well, why didn't you just say that? Because we couldn't <laughs> say it in front of them and tip our hand. Well, apparently we'll... you can. <laughs> At which point the door opens and there's someone coming out. It's like, uh, excuse me? And has like a hand on a scimitar. Like, and is about to scream. Go ahead and do your toll the dead. I need if... a wisdom saving throw from dude, please. Um, What is your... DC 15. DC 15, they failed. Sweet. Uh, let me double check. That is going to be 11 <laughs> necrotic damage, and their ears are ringing. Uh, are you non lethaling this or not? I would like to non lethal it. <laughs> Watch as the light just kind of leaves their eyes as they went. 
Oh, well, all right. Shall we? <laughs> wonderful, Elspeth. That was wonderful. Let's just having a fucking day, y'all. Elspeth and Donovan, Amoa and Azar, you all enter the next room. You enter a very uh, finely furnished room. Um, massive bed with the four posts. Um, covered with quilts. Elegant tapestries hanging off the wall. And a... Um, uh, a gilded chamber pot. Uh, you do see a window on the side there. However, there are bars that have been shoved in there uh, to keep the person currently squatting over the chamber pot from leaving. And he's a pale man dressed in a nightgown that is slightly pulled up and over his legs. And he looks at you, he has a very patchy beard and receding hairline, but it just kind of like, just kind of like drifted over to give it a more volume than it actually has. Um, but he looks really shitty as he is taking a shit. <laughs> I'll just back out of the room. <laughs> like, <oops. laughs> And he looks at you on this um, chamber pot and just like, perfect timing. I knew it. <laughs> well, and if you'd like, we could leave you here. Well, I'd appreciate it if you took me with you after I'm done. Ah. Captain Arlegath, are you leading this uh, rescue mission? As Imdra walks forward. Hello, Speaker Siva. I'm not going to lie, this is kind of funny to look at. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy it. And you will not speak about it at any of the meetings henceforth. I'll have to think on that. Are you being captive against your will? No, I just like being in my room without my clothes on a chamber pot while the guard stands there, but at least you knocked him out. Okay, well, uh, in that case, we're misinformed we can go. and he's yeah. not being held captive, so we can go ahead and leave. Wait, 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 I. Yes, I am being held captive. Captive, can you at least wait till I finish? Times, times, times are moving. Just wrap it up. Yeah. Can't exactly wrap it up if it's not out yet. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, we'll wait at the other room <laughs> since you've got some performance anxiety or whatever's going on here. <laughs> Renner's going to walk in and be like, all right, I've set the scene and things up. <laughs> there. Like, <laughs> Land, land dwellers in their strange, strange things they do. I suppose I don't. Amol puts a hand on on uh, Renner's shoulder and goes, "Majestic." Amo well. Behold, Amoa, the majesty <laughs> of Care Danaval. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's that's it. That's the end. <laughs> it's too good. <laughs> yeah. oh my God. Well, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. You have found the speaker on the toilet, and that's where we're gonna end it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> All right, friends. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, wonderful. Uh, we'll be back next week to see what what happens <laughs> next. Uh, but until then, remember, check out our friends at d, d Beyond, Birds of Paradise, and Nord Games. Uh, check us out on YouTube if you haven't already. Check out our um, Patreon. Uh, also, check out podcasts we have all of our old shows on podcasts you don't have to watch them live or on youtube you can 
just listen to them in your ears. Um, speaking of Patreon, um, we're about to go into uh, Quest and Chaos After Dark, a um, just a you know a debrief of um, what happened in today's episode, and we do that for all our shows. So if you're interested in seeing how that goes, uh, check out our Patreon.com/slash Quest and Chaos. <laughs>